What up agents, Prime here. Wednesday, Cassie has been resetted and there is a must buy piece. Are you ready? Let's go! What up guys, welcome to another Division 2 video. Thanks for clicking my content, really appreciate you watching it. If you like my content, don't forget to smash that like button. And today, Wednesday, Cassie Mendoza. So let's see what she sells us, shall we? The first thing is the safety distance. Named SMG with of course the perfect outsider on there. 13.5% SMG damage, 16% critical hit chance and 7.5% health damage. Could be nice rolled health damage away for whatever you think is necessary. I think the damage to target health cover, damage to armor could be very nice. Then for the best buy of this week guys, the force multiplier. Yes guys, we can buy this in a normal reset as well, but this has a 9.9% .9 skill damage. Yes, only 0.1% away from the cap. Of course, that perfect combined arms on there. Then roll that skill repair or that repair skill away from some extra skill or of course get some crit or critical hit damage on there for your crit dps build this is a freaking lovely backpack buy it buy it right now <laughs> then we got the shield splinter not great too low in rolls if you ask me then we got a maxed out armor on the hunter killer but double yellows I don't know if you like it with yellows, maybe leave that status effect on there. You can screw around with st status effect a little bit and then roll that skill haste away. Could maybe be something, but in my opinion, just leave it here. Over to the backpack from True Patriot, almost 130k armor, 8.1% explosive resistance. Too low of armor to buy, in my opinion, because I don't like that explosive resistance. Striker vest, too low if you ask me. Same for the gloves from Undoing Directive. Negotiator's Dilemma is a little bit better, 12.6%, but then you don't like that arm regeneration on there, so there's still better ones to find. But then a 14% weapon damage on a Nago holster. 6.3% headshot damage, roll the headshot damage away for whatever you think is necessary. In my opinion, crit chance or damage is the best way to go. Eclipse, just craft it guys, never buy it. The FAL, just farm it in the open world, it drops a lot. M1911 pistol, just leave it here. Backpack from Murakami could be nice with that 10.4% skill haste and then roll the repair skills away for whatever your build needs. Then the Overlord knee pads, decent one as well, but in my opinion just go for the named ones. Although this is a very nice roll. If you like this roll, then roll that weapon damage to that max cap. You have pretty decent knee pads. Then over to the mods, 8.9% skill duration. And the last one, 7.9% health for your hive. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for Cassie. I'm diving into the summit. Of course, all the new changes making this so freaking awesome to play. And there are a few other things they added to the summit as well but i will show you tomorrow or the day after but for today thanks for watching hope you enjoyed don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribers button and of course the notification bell pure prime out